I can do. Okay, so thank you very much everyone for coming. My name is Yvette Falarka and I'm a national organizer with BAM, which stands for the Coalition to Defend Affirmative Action, Integration and Immigrant Rights and Fight for Equality by Any Means Necessary. BAM. And we just marched in Washington, D.C. about a week and a half ago to stand up for full equality and full citizenship for all people in this country, immigrants with and without papers, black, Latina, Latino, Native American, Arab, Asian, or white. We are all Americans. And that's true for us here, for what we stand for here in California, as we stand for full citizenship rights for all people in the state to attend the flagship campus of this state, UC Berkeley, and the UC system. We have been fighting to build a movement to make sure that we restore affirmative action programs and end the discrimination that is active and saturates the admissions process of the UC system. The way that Proposition 209 that banned all equal opportunity programs over 13 years ago has been used as a cold, harsh splash of water on the fight for equality, but has also been cynically used by the university administration as an excuse to continue to shut out thousands of brilliant and talented, meritorious Latina and Latino, Black, Native American, and other underrepresented minority students. We're here to say no more. We are fighting and we are standing up to change that. We have been demanding that UC Berkeley and the UC system stop discriminating in their admissions process and that they immediately double the number of black and Latino students admitted into this university and double the number of underrepresented minority students admitted to the UC system because we live in California and this is a state that is now a majority minority state where the student body in K through 12 public schools is 50% Latina and Latino students where Oakland next door, right next door to UC Berkeley has majority black and Latino students, but yet on this campus, including this year, the numbers and the percentage of black and Latino students has remained flat, virtually flat, for the past 10 years in a row. This year's freshman class, only 2.5% of all admitted freshmen were black students. Only 11.6% of all admitted freshmen this year at UC Berkeley were Latino students. And that's just what the uni university admits to, because there's a whole lot that they're hiding, and we're demanding not just that they expose that, and that we're, we're fighting to expose that, but the truth is already out there, and we know it. And so we're building a movement now, and we are fighting to continue the struggle and the, str and the movement that one affirmative action to begin with, that recognizes that racism is still systematic, our public school system and in this society, and that without active remedies, conscious policies to counter the racism that is inherent in that admissions process, without affirmative action, this will continue to happen. And so for us, we demand UC Berkeley admit more black and Latino, Arab American, Asian American underrepresented minority students, more Native American students, and more public school students from California who have a right to be at this university, who are absolutely under anyone, anyone's standards, more than qualified to be here, but to also make clear how the standards that they use are standards that we, as the movement and as the community, do not accept are just or fair standards. Because to us, the real measure of who has a right to be at these universities, the real deciders, should not be a handful of administrators who are just trying to cover their butt all the time in a very cynical way, who pay lip service to diversity, but who in action actively stand in the way of that. The real deciders of who should be the leaders of our society, people who have a right to go to these universities, which are gateways to leadership, that everybody knows the movement should decide that. Our communities should decide that. And you'll hear from students who apply to UC Berkeley this year, from Oakland Tech High School, from Skyline High School in Oakland, from high schools in San Francisco, from high schools in Southern California, like Azusa High School, down in Northridge, who by our standards, 
by the movement standards and our community standards, are already leaders and who therefore should have the right to come to this university to continue to develop their leadership. And we're standing with them. So, I want to...